We're live, pal. I'm just waiting to see if things go through. Oh, here we go. Here we go in the house. Oh, JXT official is live. Oh, man. Let me just log in properly. Logging into my Twitch on my thing just so I can um, interact with you guys. Boom, logged in. How annoying is that the bloody token things you gotta do every time? And I'm logged in. What's up guys, whoever's checking this out. I do have a big ass mystery package here. Well, what address is there? Not mine, you beauty. So, um, we're on. What's up guys, everyone's jumping on. I'm just gonna change it so it doesn't say that I'm playing Call of Duty or whatever it normally says. Um, how do I do that? See, JXD's in the war zone. I'm not in the war zone. Uh, edit, there we go. Broadcast option, mystery unboxing, boom. All right, we're cool. All right guys, let's bloody do it. We got people in the house. What's up? Fat boy, <laughs> what do you want? Asar, dude. Uh, Adrian Kassar, Deathmatch J, J Hawaii, brother. I'll see you tomorrow morning. For those uh, unaware, we're doing a GCW Game Changer Wrestling Watch Party tomorrow in Footscray. Um, check it out on Facebook. It's with Deathmatch Down Under. And we'll be all having beers at 10 a.m. watching my boy Joey Janela take on the fishing man, Chris Dickinson. So, I have this massive package, and that's not my address, so it's all right. But, um... Josh Andrews O'Neill on Instagram hit me up and he was like, hey man, you might be interested in this. And he sent me a screenshot of something he found on Facebook. Um, and it was this, with what's in here. And he's like, you might want that. And I was like, surely it's gone by now. So I jumped on the old uh, Facebook buy, swap and sell. And it hadn't sold yet. And I was like, holy shit. And I messaged Glenda right away, was her name. And Glenda was like, yeah, it's still available if you want it. I was like, send it to me now. Got home, had a horrible work week. Horrible work, two, three weeks, to be honest. That's why I haven't been streaming, haven't had the time, been working back late. And here we are. We've got the box. We've got it here. Um, let me know, guys, in the chat. Do you want me to open it? No, I'm just kidding. Let's bloody open this. Oh, I cut it open too, so it should be easier. You can see, oh, look at that. It's all taped together, that's why it's not coming out. Boom. You can see through the bubble wrap what we've got here. <laughs> Here it is, people. Now, this is not brand new. This is, but this is mint packaging, at least. It's got dust on it still, so it must have been sitting in storage or something. Look at that. I want, mainly want the box. I've got the Smash and Slam Arena in the box. Um, all open, but look at that. You got prototype sting here with the alternate head. Pro These are all prototype figures in the ring. The ring's quite different, but on the package. But for those that know, look at that on the back. You get a nice shot with the lights not on it. Here we go. Look at that shit. Ooh. Now the ring is in there. It's got a few figures in it. The figures oh, I didn't couldn't care. I wanted the ring, so let's open this up. Way, if you reckon. Now I had this as a kid. I still have my ring from being a kid. Um, I don't know. Boom. Um, keeping that. Now you can act out. Act, now you can act out your favorite wrestling matches. 
I'm more excited so I can have a close look at the prototype figures off this box because they're very different to what came out in the end. Um, but I'm keeping that box. I'll just store it over there because that box will be part. It's gonna be the backdrop of my display. Look, this has all the original cardboard. Look at this. Oh, look at that. Boom. Oh yeah, I didn't even buy the figures. I told Glenda not to worry about it. I said I'll pay the same amount of money. Just give me the ring. Is it all there? And see, so often with these rings, these things break. Well, actually, for the sake of this, I'll get the one I already own here. This is mine from a ch from when I was a child. But you're probably thinking it's in horrible condition. It's not in too bad a nick. Ha! Huh, here's one I prepared earlier. This is mine from when I was a kid. I refurbished it. I just, just sort of cleaned it up. Now, I had to get new sets of these because... I'll show you if I can pull them out. That one's alright. You can see here. Yeah, these things here normally break off, but no, this one's my one's pretty good too. I pretty but see you can see it's all banged up. From when I was a kid, I um I tried to use like some permo and I some gooby gone to sort of clean it up. But that's why I bought this one. Even though I'm gonna keep them both. Alright, so this seems all good. All our turnbuckles are on there. I'll untangle it and still has the sticker sheet. Oh, look at that. Put post, look, post pinholes. That's all. Ah, oh, see, I, have, I opened this in 1999 as a five year old. So having this again. So you don't get to choose what stickers go on it. And I love this, because I'll show you already before I get into anything. Mine has WCW where the big boys play on one side. This is my kid, my childhood ring. WCW where the big boys play. The ring I bought off Blender. WCW where the big boys play. Rules and bones were meant to be broken. This is the second release of this ring. Which makes me even happier that I bought it. Because it, um... Now I've got both. <laughs> anyway, cool. Bubble wrap, piss off. Got me turnbuckles. I'll put them to the side for now. This is in great nick. For a ring that's been used, like it's not mint. Getting one of these rings mint, you go, look at the sticker. Compare that sticker. I wish I cleaned mine before I... I didn't know I was going to show it. This is my childhood ring. Look at how banged up it is. And look at the new one. How's that? There's a photo there. Um, the new one is bloody fresh, so I'm wrapped with that. And even mine, like you can see, like the edges of the stickers are banged up. This sticker is all creased and shit. But they got a fair working out as my childhood ring for a long time there. So um, this sticker here, look at that. Where the big boys play, the best tagline ever in wrestling. Um, and a lot of these scuff marks here, I will use the legendary Gooby Gone. I will even do some on the stream, how's that? And I'll show you, you can actually just, a lot of that shit will just, because this is, this ruins plastic. Do not leave this on plastic for too long. I've done it and it just, it like, makes it dissolve. I tried to clean an, an, another ring, not a WCW one, and a uh, metal ring, and it just destroyed it. So you gotta be very light with this shit, but this stuff will get anything off figures. Um, pretty much. So, Shit like this, because the plastic underneath is black, it will get rid of it, but I'll show you in a sec. On the other side, boom, rules and bones meant to be broken. I don't know where that come from. I think that's like, a lot of the NWO shirts and shit would have this, these sayings and shit on the back. Whatever. Um, I'm hang on, I'll check the chat here. We got, Jay's got to head off, incredible stuff, but yeah. Jay, I'll, say, I'll talk to you about this tomorrow anyway. Don't you worry about that. Masili Go, Texas Pete, who now trains with us at the Relentless School of Pro Wrestling. Nice ring. Takes me back to when he had the TNA Impact six-sided ring. Actually, I have something to show you in relation to that after I get through this ring. Clem, nah, bloody... Oh, I got a bloody... Um, oh, spammer in me, chat. Um, WCW X-Pac was my favorite wrestler. Yes, is in six-pack. But then, yeah, we got the NWO black and white Hollywood side. And we got our NWO Wolfpack. Ah, Mercer Ligo. See, I say your name right now. 
Um, you reckon that Rules and Bones saying was from the power plant? Oh, I'll look into that. Um, the only difference is it says two sweet, whereas this side it says um, no mercy. I, again, WWF were doing no mercy pay per views be before this ring was released. I think. So uh, that one always confused me, but um, what I will do, I'll be one second. I'm gonna let's clean this ring. Ugh. All right. Step one: grab yourselves some cotton buds, or as the Americans would call them, Q-tips. Get your gooby gone. A little bit. And let's get a nice big one. We'll do this like you know when you read a book to kids at school? This big, big bit here. Look at all that. Just coming off. There you go, that one that was there. It's completely gone. Obviously, I'll go over the whole ring. But you've got to be light with it, or else it does, it digs into the plastic. But I'll give it a full clean. Let's check that these ropes work. Yeah, I'm just checking that these haven't snapped off, because if they have, then this, they're no use to me. But they're in bloody great, Nick. I don't think... Whoever had these as a kid obviously did play with them at some point, because there are little... Like, we just saw there's scuff marks on the ring. But it's nothing that's like not fixable. And the ropes are really tight, so that makes me think that yeah, maybe this wasn't played as much at all. Here we go. Bang, flip. Brings a tear to my eye, I could cry right now. Okay, and see this? It's not dry yet. But I'll clean that up. Look at that. Makes me so happy. Alright, you can tell I'm happy, right? Let's get some Toy Biz figures. I do have my um, Mattel Ultimate and Sting, which for these figures, it's, the ring's just too small, as you can see. But let's get some Toy Biz figures that it was made for. And let's chuck them in it and see how that looks. Oh, here we got Nash, Hogan, Macho, Bret Hart, Goldberg, all up here. Referee. I just had them because I had these guys on display with my Smash and Slam set, which I actually have a brand new cabinet here. I just haven't set up yet. I haven't had any bloody time to scratch myself lately. Boom. Hello, referee. Best there is, best there was, and the best there ever will be. Oh, the lighting's too much on him. Here we go. This is my um my Beta Hogan, which I just used for messing around. Now, even this ring, like big sexy. The ring's not overly um. Like you can see, the figures are still almost. I always <laughs> is how I gauge if you can do a superplex with the two figures cleanly. And they land, which if you do that here, they'll fit. So it's all right. Could be a slightly bit bigger. But there we go. Looks bloody awesome, doesn't it? Let's get it, guys. Got to take screenshots of this shit, don't I? But guys, you got any questions? Let me know. Um, talk to me. I'm going to head off in about five minutes anyway. I was going to get on stream and play Call of Duty. Went on. Bang. Update. Because I haven't played in two weeks. And Call of Duty like to give us 60 gig worth of updates every week. So, um. Oh, yeah. There you go. Put him there. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set that display up. I'm going to put the ring sort of in each one. So, you got this ring. That ring. So, it's all there. Uh, Mercer Liga. I've got something to show you here. Um, I picked up from a from Chapel Street Bazaar, which is a um, a 
don't know, what do you call them? Like an op shop, but it's a massive one. They buy and resell stuff like collectibles and op shop type stuff. I found a TNA figure in there and I was looking it up. I'm like, is it a rare one? This was exclusive to one of the six-sided rings and the rarer Christopher Daniels. Um, you can only get it with the ring. So I picked him up in there, which was nice. It was only like six bucks. Like, what a bargain, eh? But he's obviously a Toy Biz figure too, so he fits right in here with the WCW guys. Is Christopher Daniels and Hulk Hogan the same size? Yes. But anyway, what do we got? Any questions, guys, before we head out here? Hope you liked me a little unboxing. I was just pumped to open it. Um, oh, the rules and bones from the power plant. It is. Ah, okay, cool. Zane Gang Gang, subscribe. Thank you. I appreciate that. I bloody oath I appreciate that. And I, um, I have little, um, oh, what do you call them? The little emotes. I went and designed a ton of emotes. If you can see here. You can't, it's stuck on, but my new JXT, oh, it's down in the corner here, look at that. Boom, my new JXT streaming logo. But um, you get little emotes if you subscribe, so thank you, Zang Gang Gang, for that. Um, Jay, tomorrow, if anyone wants to come to the Deathmatch Down Under watch party tomorrow, I'll actually, I'll get my phone here, let's get the details up now. It's in Footscray in the city of Melbourne. Go to me events. Here we go, GCW Spring Break Watch Party. It's at the Cheeky Pint in Melbourne. So if you're in town tomorrow, 10 a.m., want to come watch GCW, I've actually got my Spring Break 3 shirt that was um, given to me from my one of my good friends, Joey Janela himself, uh, in my room, ready to wear tomorrow. So um, come down and watch the show with us. Jimmy and Jake can geek out over WCW. Um... But yeah, oh, Mercer League, he also came with the Raven figure, yeah. Now, nah, short-haired AJ Styles with the blue was also exclusive to the ring. Oh, was it exclusive? No, in the red, in the red with the hood on. Boom. Lyle, how good does that Wolfpack Scott Hall look that got released today? Mate, I have it saved in my phone. I um, that, So if anyone noticed, Mattel, that's what Lyle's talking about here. The Mattel, Mattel guys released all the... New updates and new figures that are coming out. And if you look on my Instagram story, at JXT underscore official, you would have seen this brand new Scott Hall figure getting released. Look at that. You know I need that for my... I'm actually going to buy two. I'm going to buy one for my work desk so I can just have him sitting there. He comes with the thumb so you can do the... I had, I seen... um. If you're a major mark for the Major Wrestling Figure podcast... Um, a subscriber to their Patreon, you're in their Facebook group, and I'm in there, and I seen someone write, why would you want a drunk Scott Hall figure? Why would you not? That was like, the end, like sure, it was like a horrible situation, but the character, it was part of WCW, we want all of it. And um, I just like that he's in the red trunks, he got the hair out, it's a different look, he's got the thumbs, got the two sweet hand. I'm actually gonna, I can already tell you, when I get that Scott Hall figure, I'm gonna, because I'm gonna buy two, one for my work desk, just for an extra. Uh, I might even buy three and keep one min on card. Um, I'm going to use these, two, the, the two sweet hands on other figures, maybe a Kevin Nash and maybe a six. Um, and I'm going to use him doing the thumbs to himself. So I'm going to buy that Bam Bam too, that Bam Bam Bigelow, and that's going to go in my WCW shelf. He wore the gray in WCW too. I don't have a Mattel ECW collection. And I saw they have... The ECW TV title and the tag title with the Cactus Jack exclusive coming out. And that made me think, ooh, are Mattel going to start making ECW flashbacks? But this is why I was like, ooh, if they are, I'm buying them now to start that collection. But they won't be able to license it with the way their Legends deals work. I can't see Raven, Sabu, Shane Douglas, Mike Awesome having WWE Legends deals where they can make figures of them. So... I'm not going to start. I have a Jax ECW collection, and it goes pretty well. I wish this grey Bam Bam Bigelow, which I'll show you now that they're releasing, there was a prototype for Jax Classic Superstars in the exact same gear they were going to make. The B logo is upside down, but they'll fix that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to put that in my WCW collection. Use the ECW belt. 
uh, TV title in my ECW collection. But um, for today, guys, that's a bloody win. Um, but yeah, guys, um, Mercy Liga, you after the Ric Flair figure. It's in the same figure line as the Hogan, as in the Ultimate Edition Ric Flair. Uh, no, I'm not, actually, because the Ultimate Edition Ric Flair, correct me if I'm wrong, this is the figure he's talking about, the Ultimate Edition Ric Flair is a WWF version. If it was a 90s WCW, now, the two-pack that comes out with the Giant, even though they're only basics, is a Giant and Ric Flair two-pack. Ric Flair's in green with the short hair. They call it the mum hair Ric Flair. I want that figure. That's 90s WCW Ric Flair. That's, yeah. My only Mattels I collect are WCW. And mainly, like, 90s. Like, I don't have the Stunning Steve. I didn't buy... Um, I wanted to buy the Ron Simmons, but it was still... I'm thinking my, my collection is Nitro Era. So, and Larry Zabisco fits in that because of his commentary, even though he's in his trunks. But, um... Bloody, um... Good stuff, guys. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. I appreciate it. Again, Zang Gang Gang for subscribing. I appreciate the hell out of that. It helps me and it gives me more motivation to get on here and stream for you guys more. Um, follow me on YouTube or subscribe on YouTube, whatever it's called. Um, same thing, JXT. I, um, I'm going to put these videos on YouTube once I'm done, once I go back and edit them. But this one's good. This stream didn't stuff up for the first time in my life, so I'm getting better at it and I'll go and upload them. But nah, thanks guys. Um, thanks for watching. He has the long hair with the big gold belt. Nah, Mercy League, I don't. Oh, I reckon it's a. It's either early. W, I'm gonna look it up. But um, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. And um, see you next time. I unbox something or have something here, and or I'm gaming. And um, thanks for checking it out. To swing. Now, awkwardly, I have to press the off button. See. You.